hope you're all enjoying our show and welcome back to another episode of Let's Bake with Palak. Oh. And today, tum, 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 drum we are piece. making calzone. Yes, so we are making calzone. Who wouldn't love calzone? Yes, yes, it's one of fa- uh, one of very favorite of my daughter. Mm-hmm. Calzone or pizza pocket, we can make it either sure. way. Mm-hmm. Um, we are starting with our recipe for making pizza dough. So you are learning how to make pizza dough too, and then going from there how to create a calzone, mm-hmm. or if you want to create a pizza pocket. Awesome. Both options. Double the maca, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> So, what are the ingredients? Let's get started. Alright, mm-hmm. so let's first start with our pizza dough. Okay. Pizza dough, we have all-purpose flour. It's a almost three cups of all-purpose flour. It's mm-hmm. shifted, so already it has air incorporated it, in it and it's very fluffy. Ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. We have one pouch, one small pouch of yeast, uh, dry yeast. Mm-hmm. Uh, in case if you have the whole bottle if you are using, it is one and a half teaspoon of Yes, okay. you are using it. But we have to raise it though, right? Yes. Okay. We, yes, we'll get there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just regular granulated regular sugar is almost one teaspoon. Okay. We have salt. Salt you can use as needed, but typically one teaspoon salt is pretty much enough. Mm-hmm. We have extra virgin olive oil here going on. Mm-hmm. And um, this is as we need it, we will be using that. Okay. And we have one cup of warm water. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are typically looking for the Fahrenheit, it's al- around 110 Fahrenheit. Okay. If you are using thermometer. If you are not using thermometer, it should be lo- look warm. It look should warm. not be very look hot. Warm to touch. Okay. Yes. It should not be very cold mm-hmm. or it should not be very hot. It should be just look warm. You fill it and you are comfortable. Right? Okay. All right. And what are these for? So for this one is for the calzone mm-hmm. uh, filling we will be using. Mm. So here we have shredded mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Instead of shredded mozzarella, if you want to use uh, say wet mozzarella, mm-hmm. you can use it. But in the wet mozzarella case, make sure you are draining all the water out. Okay. Uh, we have ricotta cheese. Mm-hmm. It's a full fat ricotta cheese. In case if you have, if you are using low fat, probably it has more water content. Make sure you are draining all the water out before using it. Okay. Otherwise, our calzone will be soggy no more that. Yeah. We like have soggy pizza or you know pizza pocket. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. We have uh, here Italian seasoning. Okay. Regular Italian. Seasoning, Regular right? Italian seasoning, okay. and we have here fresh spinach. Okay. For making calzone, we are using fresh spinach, but it can be used like say, hey, I want spinach along with um, peppers, mushrooms, peppers. And you can do that. You can play with it. Yes, okay. but for doing that, make sure you're cooking them first, taking all the water content out, and then ah. going and doing. It. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you are using frozen spinach, frozen mm-hmm. spinach has much more water content. Yeah, that is true. In that case, is make sure first. Let it come to the room temperature. Okay. Then press it really hard. Make all the water out. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. Mm-hmm. You can use paper towel. You can just squeeze it with your hand. Mm-hmm. Either way, it should come out. Just make it. Make sure it's dry enough. It's dry enough, right? Okay. Uh, also, in case if you want to use, hey, a little bit of pizza sauce to mm-hmm. grab the more flavoring, mm-hmm. you can certainly do that. Okay. But uh, making sure if you are making from the scratch, uh, scratch the pizza mm-hmm. sauce or your marinara sauce, okay. it should not be very liquid. It should be a little bit thick, thick, consist- thick on the side. Thick consistency. All right. So I'm excited because you know who wouldn't like pizza, right? Especially exactly. kids. Yeah, I mean, Friday evenings. I think every Friday evening menu. Exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> so get off from work, you order pizza, and kids are good to go, and you get to enjoy your evening. Yes. So maybe instead exactly. of that, you could try that next time. So yes. let's go ahead and get started. So what would be the first step? All right. So we are putting our dough. Mm-hmm. The all-purpose flour. all-purpose flour. Okay. Making sure we are not getting makeup out of it. <laughs> Here we are. Let's re- get ready our starter. To create a starter. We are in lukewarm water. Mm-hmm. We are adding our yeast. Yeast. Mm-hmm. We are adding our sugar. Sugar helps. Oh, in the yeast itself. Yes. Okay. It helps our yeast to bloom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mix it a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's a cool little whisk, by the way. Yeah, I love it. I, I did. Absolutely get one for myself. I love it. Yeah. All right. And leave it for a few minutes. Okay. Around five minutes. Okay. So once you see that, mm-hmm. it will start bubbling. Okay. And the foam will be coming on top of it. 
and okay. that's the easiest way to find out whether your yeast is still yeah. active okay. and it's not outdated. Okay. Um, your water, your yeast, mm -hmm. and your temperature of water is the most important factor for making any pizza dough or mm -hmm. making any bread bread dough. Okay. Or anytime you want to figure it out whether your yeast is working. So if there is no foam or bubbles, that's when you know it's not a good yeast. Yes. Okay. So you need foam and bubbles to make sure mm -hmm. you know. So specifically, suppose hey, I have the whole bottle of yeah, uh, yeast in the uh, yeah yes. in the yeast, and after a certain time frame, mm -hmm. it does die. Okay. So instead of finding out later when your dough is not <laughs> rising, let's yeah. find out before. And before see what even, like, yes, yes. Your dough too. So. Yes. So as you see, within few minutes, yeah. little bit of bubbles started. Coming up. Yeah. 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 So that is that means it is getting ready and you will have the smell of yeast. So you will be able to from the smell you will be able to tell whether okay. it's working or not. Okay. Very soon it will be a little bit of yeasty filling mm -hmm. and that's the easiest way to find out. Okay. So here is our foaming mm -hmm. on the top of the boat. Yeah. Yes. So that means this yeast is working perfectly yeah. good and it's rolling ready to go in okay. our mm -hmm. The other way doing this is if you are not sure how much water I need or if you are experimenting or hey I'm just okay. I'm not measuring and I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting all yeast in whole water, mm -hmm. just make a small batch of starter. Just make okay. like just take a little bit of water, put yeast, okay. put sugar in it, mm -hmm. a little bit salt if you want to and make a starter okay. and then add water as you need. Okay. That is much better route mm -hmm. than actually doing this route. Just eyeballing it or yeah. Yes. Okay. So a lot of time, uh, once you will start making this, probably down the road you will not measure like this. Right. You just start doing it by your own. And if you are doing that, in that cases, just make a small starter and do that route. Mm -hmm. We start gradually here. And one thing to notice, we use the dough hook this time. Yes. Not the whisk or not the paddle. Yes. yes. And in, in case, hey, I, if I don't have stand mixture, if I have, if traditionally I want to do it, mm -hmm. Go make a pile on your desk and do it, or just take just a big bowl. Um, Indian way. In, yes, Indian way. Anyway, and you can perfectly do that. Mm -hmm. It's just it will take a little bit more time. Have than to be all fancy like this, yes. right? <laughs> all right. So it's getting all together. Is that the smell? The east smell? That yes. I, I, okay. Yes. Yeah, I totally smell it. Yeah. So I think in a few minutes we're gonna smell like an Italian restaurant. Exactly. <laughs> Add a little bit of salt here. We were, we were smelling like a bakery in the last episode with all the chocolate uh, chip cookies, chocolate chip cake, butter, sugar, butter, sugar, yes, it was amazing. So I'm looking for the similar kind of experience today, I'm gonna be exactly. Italian. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Normally in pizza dough, you don't go ahead and eat, add any kind of uh, seasoning in it. Okay. But if you are planning to make stromboli out of it or mm -hmm. if you are planning to make, hey, I want calzone out of it and on my dough, I want to add some kind of seasoning just to make it more mm -hmm. flavorful, more spicy, mm -hmm. more interesting. Mm -hmm. In that case, in case if you want to add any seasoning, like dry seasoning I'm talking here, okay. dried oregano, dry basil, thyme, anything, or mixed Italian seasoning, this is good time to add that as well. While mixing the dough. Yes, while mixing the dough. So if you see right now, it's almost, mm -hmm. almost there, mm -hmm. but not quite there, still it's dry still yeah. it's a dry okay what do you think we can add to make it a little uh, bit yes so two option add a little bit of oil in case if you want mm -hmm. or you can also add a little bit of more water okay so i'm adding just a little bit of oil barely mm -hmm. the extra virgin olive oil yes mm -hmm. in case if you don't have olive oil and you want to add any other oil Make sure your oil doesn't have any smell or flavor right. of it. Yeah. So it will travel to the calzone. Yeah. Calzone or pizza yeah. eventually. Yeah. Anything you are making. Right. So basically, that is always point. You can use gray uh, gray oil, mm -hmm. which doesn't have. It's any very smell. light and very very um, very light and no flavors basically. Okay. Um, I would not suggest peanut oil or any other oil. Right. Sesame oil or any other oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think just that bit of olive oil is helping it. Yes, yeah, bring it all together. together. Yeah. All right. So now our next step is, uh -huh. as it's almost there, mm -hmm. I think we need to add a little bit of water. More than one cup of water here for sure. Okay. Okay. 
mixing here. We have to go. Our dough is ready okay. and uh, you see the consistency of this dough is pretty much like a roti dough, very soft. Okay. Um, when you touch, uh, it will spring right back. Right. So that's basically you can see. Yeah. So we'll make a bowl. Okay. This is our bowl. Okay. We'll put in a, any container, a metal container, glass container mm -hmm. and we'll cover a little bit of olive oil on top of it. Okay. So not the dry okay. layer just will come up. Top, yes, like just rub it on top. Okay. In case if you are worried, hey, it might will stick on my uh, mm -hmm. on my bowl or in mm -hmm. my vessel. In that case, is all in before we are putting okay. run over. Mm -hmm. So right now when you are touching, it is still very stiff. Right. It's not sticking to your hands. Yes. Taking a plastic wrap. Okay. Plastic wrap is ideal because you know it will form the air and mm -hmm. plastic wrap will help it. Mm -hmm. And seal it up. Yeah. And seal it up. So approximately how long does it take for it to raise and okay. get ready? So as I mentioned earlier, making bread as well. Mm -hmm. um, we need to make sure it is doubling in the size. Doubling, yes, doubling yes. the size. So yeah. right now what size you are looking, mm -hmm. we need to go to double of the size. Yeah. And also uh, places to places the timing can be different right if it is summer if yes. it is warm mm -hmm. the timing will be the process will be very very quick yeah we learned about that and when we are doing the focaccia bread so if you yes. recall yes so we did the same similar process there and the same thing if you are doing in the winter mm -hmm. out here in northwest usa mm -hmm. probably the process will be a little bit uh, slower okay what you can do is you can put this in the oven the bowl in the oven for uh, the forming up okay. or you can put into your microwave okay. and leave in the microwave to keep, warm in. keep in the warm yep. but you are not starting on the microwave, microwave is still <laughs> yes no cooking no cooking in the microwave just keep it in the warm just place, place. Yes. right so any place is warm in your house you can put that right so that's the ideal situation okay we'll be waiting it to be doubled up okay. once it's a double up okay. we are coming right back to the all right so it was almost two hours mm -hmm. and our dough is double in our size uh, yeah. than initial. Mm -hmm. If you touch it's super soft. Super soft and right? airy. Yeah. Yes, very airy and yeah. uh, now you can make calzone, mm -hmm. you can be, make pizza, anything you really want. Even in, in case if you are looking, hey I want to just make a dinner roll, small dinner roll, mm -hmm. basic roll, dinner roll you can certainly make out of it. Oh, so just make small uh, pieces and uh, paste them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anything. Anything okay. you want to do, okay. you can pretty much make it out of okay. it. And I, I do see this is stretchy as well. Yeah. It is super stretchy. Yeah. Uh, super straw soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Also, you can put in the refrigerator once the dough is ready. In case, hey, I made double batch and I'm not gonna use all these things, so okay. you can certainly cover mm -hmm. with uh, a tight container and put in the refrigerator, and you can use after a few, after like two, three days, you want yeah. three, four days. You Maybe use, use half and store half. You know, make, yes. make a big batch and you yes. know, make two dinners out of that. A lot of people also freeze this. Mm. Freezing is, I'm not sure 100%, but uh, putting in the refrigerator and use it as needed yeah. always works out perfectly. All good. right, so let's see what's the next step then. All right, so here what we are going to do is out of this dough, mm -hmm. we are going to make calzone. However, I don't want to use all the dough, so I am taking out and we are making small calzone. Okay. Normally what happens is calzone can, with the, all the fillings going on, can be a little bit heavier. Right. And if you are making first time, instead of making big round like 8 inch calzone, mm -hmm. I would prefer make it very small calzone. Start with mini versions of yes. it. Yes. Yeah. So you can easily handle it. Yeah. It is more like a personalized size. So right. you can personalize the option as family Yeah, wants. the toppings, I mean the, the, the stuffing, fillings. Yeah, so the fillings as well, you could per personalize it if you make them small. Yes. Otherwise you, you would have to do one exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small bowl, mm -hmm. putting the rest aside. Okay. Getting ready my okay. surface. A little bit olive oil, yep. or a little, 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 yeah, this a little bit so it's not sticking up. Mm -hmm. And you can use rolling pin. Mm -hmm. I am using my hand. All you are doing is, okay, suppose it, just get it back all together, together mm -hmm. no creases. Mm -hmm. And now all I'm doing is just 
I'm stretching it. Stretching it a little bit. Okay. In case if you find you're you're not easily able to stretch it. Yes. Okay. Then that means your dough is not ready okay. yet. Okay. So you need a little bit more time mm -hmm. to get ready your dough. So here is our mm -hmm. round ready. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is instead of using the whole surface, mm -hmm. get ready our filling. Okay. Fresh spinach. Yeah. Here goes our ricotta. Mm -hmm. A bit of salt. Okay. And our seasoning. Our seasoning. Italian seasoning, right? Just yes. regular Italian seasoning Just that's regular. available in the stores. Yes. Yeah. You can also add black pepper into it or white pepper to give it a kick. A little bit kick. Mm -hmm. um, Perfect other, for our Indian palate. <laughs> yes. Red crushed paper, mm -hmm. any of those things you like, mm -hmm. you can certainly go ahead and add it. Okay. To make it more, a little bit more spicier in case if you want, hey, roasted garlic, uh, you want to roast it garlic. Uh, mm -hmm sort of garlic pieces a little bit and or garlic paste right any of those things you want to add mm -hmm. you can make it more flavorful yes however you want. according to your family yeah. so this one is ready mm -hmm. to give more taste more flavor you can also add other different cheeses like asia which is more okay. dry which uses right. than the more liquidy mm -hmm. so that's there and uh, taking our wood mozzarella so we are spreading it to half Half of the, yeah, because yes. we're going to fold it, fold so it. we're only spreading the, the, the half side and the cheese only on the half side of it. Yes. Okay. Also, remember you need a little bit of space to pinch back Close to it, seal yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So we are going to leave that space. Okay. So I think that filling is going to fit two of them, right? Yes. This might be too much for just one. Okay. Yes. 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 Since my daughter is not a huge fan of vegetables, so we are sticking ourselves <laughs> within this one or two Hidden. vegetables. <laughs> yes. Kid friend. I mean, not kid friendly, but cheating kids <laughs> to get them to eat more veggies. Yes. So okay. once it's done, mm -hmm. you can cover it. I think we can probably fill a little bit a little more. Little more, right? Yeah. Yes. So let's try to do that. Okay. I almost want to eat that filling like that. It looks I so know. pretty. <laughs> So now we are going to make sure punch, pinch, 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 pinch until the end. Mm -hmm. You will have a corner. Okay. This looks like a big dessert or something. <laughs> yes. Now pinch ah, and fold. Fancy. Pinch and fold. Pinch and fold. Mm -hmm. Pinch and fold. Pinch and fold. You will also notice it is going right back. Yeah. Because it's a dough, right? Okay. So if you see that mm -hmm. it is going right back, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. It does that. Okay. But still it is. Oh, I can't wait to see it all baked and looking pretty. Right. Mm. Okay. Creating. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, if you are making it really, really big, mm -hmm. it is hard first handle, time to yeah. handle the, those yeah. things this itself is it's like, like a big size right yeah. Yeah. this is pretty good size i think it's good for two people two easily people. yeah so here is our surface mm -hmm. you can use melted butter okay to cover it to mm -hmm. give that additional nice golden color yes yeah. golden glow mm -hmm. so we are doing that a mm -hmm. little bit of salt going on top of it okay just for the flavor or flavor and good look okay. as well okay and then Adding seasoning. Uh, seasoning on top. Okay. If in case if you are if you are not sure how to how to take this away from the mm -hmm. surface, the surface or the yes, sheet. yep. The best way is use your scraper. bench scraper. Uh -huh. A little bit more. Uh -huh. Here we go, our bake. All right. I can't okay. wait for it to be all done and tried out. It okay, looks so if you delicious. see in the end, uh -huh. there is the extra piece of it. Extra piece. Let's we'll take it to out. Make and it out. It in. Yeah. And here we go. All right. So that looks pretty, and we're gonna pop it in the oven and come right. Four back. degree Fahrenheit preheated mm -hmm. oven mm -hmm. for at least good 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. okay. What is your calzone size? Is the key factor here. Okay. The bigger the calzone. The more, the more the dye is going to take. Right. Okay. And the smaller the less the dye. Right. The other thing, if you are using a lot of liquidy stuff in it, uh, in here we are using spinach. Spinach right. is going to leave a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. For air, mm -hmm. just leave a little bit holes in there. Yes. Create okay. uh, a slit mm -hmm. so all the air has mm -hmm. space to go away. Mm -hmm. So a little slit there. Okay. And I'm sure it does. Let's see. 
make three slits so that the air is going right. to Otherwise, it will be coming out from the RC side. Sides. Yes, sides, and that's what we remove. Okay. The other thing, if you have probably noticed, we are using the parchment paper. And okay. if you yeah. don't want to clean your trays really, really hard, yes. use parchment paper. Yeah. The bottom will come out really nice, as mm -hmm. well as mm -hmm. any juice will be going, it will not be sticking with your pen where right. you will be sticking with the parchment paper. It will be very easy to move that mm -hmm. without even breaking uh, the whole calzone here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we have the calzones baking in the oven. So while that's happening, mm -hmm. what do you want us to show? What do you want to show? Okay, so while calzone is happening right now in the oven, mm -hmm. we have time and let's make the dipping sauce. Okay. It's very simple sauce, very easy to make and okay. it's kind of replica of making uh, marinara sauce, pizza sauce okay. as well. So we're but just making a dipping sauce to go along with the calzone. Yes, okay. exactly. So we have one cup of tomato puree here. Okay. We are using canned tomato puree. Okay. We have one cup of crushed tomato. Okay. Crushed tomato is more liquidy mm -hmm. than the tomato puree. Tomato puree is a little bit more thickened. Okay. We have here sugar okay. to control the acidity. Right. And we also have salt and Italian seasoning already mixed into mixed it. Up. Okay. We have our good old olive oil here. Mm -hmm. So first we are going to add So just a question, so we are using two different kinds of tomatoes here just to give it a texture Like one is yes. softer okay. Yes, so in the crushed tomato you can still feel the particles of right. tomato So mm -hmm. you are having that uh, kind of nuttiness in that Correct Versus uh, in tomato puree, it's very fine, very okay. very um, smooth in comparison Okay so Adding a little bit of oil, olive oil okay. in the base Your heat pan, hot pan, okay Yes Oh, that's a good sizzle. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then the crushed tomatoes. Okay. We are adding the sugar. Sugar. Mm -hmm. And seasoning. Salt and seasoning. Salt. Okay. And all we are doing is just stir it. Just stir it. Mm -hmm. In the start, keep your flame on medium. Mm -hmm. How, so how long on the stove? Like about a few minutes? Just, just few minutes. Just few minutes. Okay. Just few minutes. Until you see. At this point, in case if you want to add uh, garlic, or roasted garlic or anything, garlic powder, you can definitely go ahead and use it. Mm -hmm. Just add the flavor. Right. Also feel free to use any of the fresh uh, herbs. You can use fresh basil, fresh parsley, okay. fresh oregano, anything. Basil is kind of ideal right. in this situation mm -hmm. basil will definitely bring up a lot of flavors a lot of fresh basil is probably going to help a lot a lot yes, yes. all right so it's happening and it will change color okay from very light uh, red to a little bit darker side of red so you will get to know mm -hmm. it will start bubbling and it's bubbling mm -hmm. it was done okay it takes hardly two to three minutes okay perfect mm -hmm. for calzones then it's it takes such a less time and uh, we're also okay. using canned and it's, it's pretty quick to make yeah definitely oh it's all bubbling now yes okay. so it's already bubbling yeah as you see i see the change in color already also, if you want to add more flavor and say, hey, I like balsamic vinegar and you want to add it, mm -hmm. once it's completely cooled up, just add a little bit of olive oil on top of it mm -hmm. and the balsamic vinegar. Okay. In case if you like that flavor of balsamic vinegar. Okay. And that comes out really nice as well on this. Okay. Just a little bit of stir. As you see, mm -hmm. it's a changing color. Yeah. The lighter tomato color. Mm -hmm. Now a little bit going towards the darker shade. So while it's happening, probably done in a few seconds. Okay. Uh, let's check out on our calzone. Calzone yes. should be ready. Yeah. To go now. Yeah. We'll be right back. We'll check the calzone. So come right back. Okay. All right. So we have our hot calzone, calzone off of the oven, and we do have a little helper here today to taste this. So it's none other than Dvita, our own Palak's daughter. So let's welcome her. Hey. How are you? Good. Are you excited? Good. Yeah. And are you excited to be on mom show or are you excited to be on TV? TV. TV, not the mom <laughs> show. <laughs> All right. So, do you like croissants? So, Dita is a huge fan of pizza. Mm -hmm. 
she is not fan of vegetables of course <laughs> so what we are try going to do here is we have our calzone ready here okay and here is our dipping sauce yeah piping hot dipping sauce all ready to go we are adding a little bit just a little bit of olive oil on top mm -hmm. do you like the sauce look? as well yes mm -hmm. so normally uh, preferably whenever you have calzone this hot let it cool down at least 10 to 15 minutes before it is if we, we can serve it okay but in this case let's make so why is mom doing that so let's talk about mom a little bit are you proud of her cooking yeah yeah do you enjoy all her beautiful uh, yummy yummy cakes yeah. all the pastries how lucky are you right yeah you get to enjoy all the yummy pastries cakes did you learn a thing or two from mom? Have you tried baking yet? No? Oh, you gotta try. Mom is a good teacher because I learned a thing or two from her. So next time maybe you could try baking a simple recipe from mom. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so our calzone oh my God, is that. ready here. You can see all the good cheese mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, um, if you are putting on nice. the baking parchment paper the back comes out pretty nice and firm mm -hmm. the look on that you can see very firm and very very yeah yeah you can see the noise mm -hmm. and inside all the goodness is inside yeah also let's make sure whenever we are uh, baking your kale zone mm -hmm. the liquid part or liquid portion is always controlled so it's not coming out soggy mm -hmm. it will not be like watery base or watery uh, on your top okay. so that's very important mm -hmm. We should be definitely resting it for 10 minutes. Right now you can see all the hot and hot smoke is yes, coming out. Coming yeah. out already yeah. out of it. Yes. So Dvita, this is ready to try. This is okay. your dip. You want to go ahead and try it. Oh good. Yeah? Really good. Do you like it? Just like always mom does. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually better. It's actually better. Oh, that's a great compliment, right? <laughs> So the show is successful then, Palaki. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So this is a great kid-friendly recipe, and not just kid-friendly, but the entire family that would enjoy it yes. for dinner. And as Palak mentioned earlier, you could split the dough. You know, make it two dinners, maybe pizza one day and calzones one day, and perfect. Yeah, you plan for a week, for two days in a week. So how fantastic is that? And even if you are making calzone as a party appetizer, it is great party appetizer. If you want to create that as your party appetizer, mm -hmm. instead of making this day, go with a small, small hand bite size. Yes. So it's more like an empada size, very, very small size. Right. So people can grab and people can walk around and everything. Start easily. enjoying it. Yeah. And uh, the beauty thing is, mm -hmm. you can get ready this a day before. Say, hey, my party is tomorrow. Get ready a day earlier. Mm -hmm. Put in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Do not bake. Not just big. yes, yeah. just prep them all prep and them put all, them in the cover the plastic wrap mm -hmm. and everything ready to roll. Okay, and then at the party time, put in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's ready when your guests are walking in. Yeah, I yes. like that. All right, so you've been watching us for a few weeks now. So do let us know how you like our show, and if you want to know a recipe that you've been wanted to try, sure. so do shoot us an email with that recipe, and we'll get product to make it for Who's you guys. For you, <laughs> exactly. So also, do share our videos from Mana TV's Facebook page with your friends and help them learn a, a recipe or two, sure. a quick and easy recipes or what we have been sharing all along. So keep enjoying and keep sharing and keep eating and stay healthy. Do watch us and catch us again with a brand new recipe. See you soon. With new episode, new recipe. See you next week. Till then, enjoy. Bye. Bye. What are you waiting for? Please write your right answer to palak at manatv.net. Who knows, you can be our winner to share your favorite recipe with everyone.